express yourself really, really matters, saints of God, into making a good first impression. 55% is how you look and carry yourselves. Saints of God, I told y'all earlier, man judges by appearance. It's our eyes. I'm sorry, it's just the truth. Even when I as an HR professional, if I pick up a resume and I see Bonquisha as the name, it still does something to my spirit. I'm sorry, I'm a, per I'm a visual person. It's true. Okay? It, the name, it really does. So if you walk into that place and you got on something weird and you're, you're your, your clothes are hanging off and it's not fitting right. It's when you sit, some women we sit in our jeans just don't go all the way up. It's, it's, I'm, I'm just saying it's, it's first impressions, women of God. It's, and I, I, I mean, I have tattoos, but you won't see them in certain, in certain places. You're not going to see me show my tattoos. Those, I was young once. I made bad decisions. Decisions now as an HR professional, knowing I have to be in certain circles. I gotta preach the gospel. I can't wear certain stuff. Cause I don't want that tattoo showing and messing with somebody being able to receive what God has to give them. I love when Coach Holly was talking about the mothers of the church. We don't want you, you can't no, don't go too far because the man of God got to preach and we can't have him distracted by you. It's just true. We're human. Okay? So it's 55% of how we look matters in a first impression. So how do we deal with that? Okay? You can't go wrong with the classics. These are classics, women of God. Once you get the job, you can start sprucing it up however you want. With your accessories. This done. No, it oh, okay, cool. You can start sprucing it up maybe with some more color, you know? Yeah. Once you get in. Once you get the but the first time they see you, you gotta make sure they're not thinking about needing them. Yeah. So you gotta dress like this yeah. for your first time meeting your potential employer. So they won't think of needing them. They're like, oh, maybe this one is different. She looks like us. She's very conservative. Right. I'm being real with you. You got to receive this on today, women of God. There's not but so many people that can rock a nice blonde look. Okay? Not that many people. I'm not saying not to wear your blonde hair. I'm not, please forgive me in advance. What I'm trying to tell you that is if you go into a place where nobody else is rocking blonde hair, okay, they're going to say you're not a good fit from this company. So what I'm saying, let's do it the smart way. Yeah. Don't do the blonde yet. Right. Okay. <laughs> Wait until your probationary period is over. <laughs> then you might put a streak. <laughs> okay, so probationary period is over. We add a streak. Then slowly. It turns into a blonde wig and they'll be like, wow. 